Parallelogram ABCD is adjacent to rhombus DEFG. So ABCD is a parallelogram, which means that these sides are going to be parallel to one another. And if that's the case, and uh, DEFG is a rhombus that's adjacent to the parallelogram, that means this side will also be parallel to that side. And uh, this side is also parallel to this side. They all share the same parallel markings there. Uh, and FC intersects AGD at H. Okay, uh, angle B is equal to 118. AHC is 138. AHC is 138, so this angle here is 138. Determine and state angle GFH. GFH, okay. So if, um, if angle AHC is 138, that means this angle in here must be 42 because that angle there and 138 must be supplementary. So that's one, uh, so that must be 42. Um, angle B here is 118, and in a parallelogram, uh, we know that the opposite angles are supposed to be congruent, so this must be 118. Because we have uh, parallel sides happening, uh, this side is parallel to this side, so therefore, we have alternate interior angles. So if that if this angle here is 118, this angle is also 118. So now the only angle that I don't know in triangle F, uh, GFH is angle GFH. So angle GFH plus 42 plus 118 this all has to equal to 180. If I add 42 and 118 together, I get 160. And subtracting both sides by 160, I get angle GFH, therefore is equal to 20 degrees.